I'm Richard Thompson and I'm here in New York to shoot this new, incredibly rare Pagani Waira BC. The reason we're using medium format for this shoot today is because this is, simply speaking, the most advanced, highest resolution, sharpest camera system you could lay hands on. You know, it's an advertising shoot. Those are all merits that are very important. Look at me, the lights on. It's one of the fastest, highest performance, most advanced cars in the world. And so I think it's suitable to use one of the fastest, highest performance, most advanced cameras in the world. We presented the Waira Coupe back in, in 2011 and we have produced so far 100 uh, pieces limited, of course. The Pagani Waira BC is so special because it's maybe four steps forward of the Pagani Waira and it represents the laboratory of all the new technology we will apply in future cars. I'm just going to try to shoot everything right. on front angle of the car with every lens instead of moving the car. We only move the car like three or four times. Uh, right? Uh -huh. Right, yeah, so door. look look through there for a second. <laughs> I like that. The lens is a Schneider 240 uh, leaf shutter prime. In addition to the 240, we have the two times converter, so it's a 480 millimeter lens. I've never used this setup with a car, and uh, I've never heard of it used with a car, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to really make this thing look as serious as I could. You know with the diffuser? I'm predominantly using available light for this shoot, but we're also using a set of uh, Profoto B1s. You can stand down on that and we're gonna shoot with a flash. All right, I'm good when you are. I would say mimic the angle of how the sun's coming in, like 45 degree angle into the front of the car, into the hood, overhead. Try it for both sides. The paint's really nice. It's got like a matte, but also a metallic finish. And um, some selective spotting light on the side of the car it looks beautiful. A car like this has all these wild shapes going on. It uh, really appeals to me to shoot it through a longer lens. The focal compression makes the car look a lot more serious, even bigger than it is. I mean, it's a very small car, low to the ground. This kind of effect just maximizes it, makes it look a lot bigger. I've worked for about two months to uh, pre-visualize what we're doing here this weekend. Richard showed me a photograph of a road underneath a train track that he really, he, he thought was beautiful. And he wanted me to find something similar to that. The look that I want for these images isn't a look that exists in a single picture in New York. And Jake helped me to find a way to break down these images in such a way that we can shoot different components and back plates that we can uh, composite in later. And came up with this location. We needed to find one that was in a quiet, safe place that we could easily work all day with full control. It didn't take me long to find, because being a New Yorker, I know these locations uh, really well. What did take time was getting the permissions to be underneath the Long Island Railroad oh, okay, and also to get permissions from the Department of Transportation that we could work down there. This neighborhood is not a great neighborhood, not the safest neighborhood for sure. They require that we had police here. The sun's gonna start setting and the uh, path of the sun runs pretty much parallel to these overhead railroad tracks. So for most of the day, we've had very consistent lighting down here. And the next hour or so, it's gonna start to change rapidly. We're gonna get a lot more light flowing in underneath the tracks. and. Uh, I really like shooting backlit things with sort of a soft front light. It creates a really good look. I just turned off the vibration reduction, which is probably my favorite function of this camera. The camera will use the seismograph to determine the point where there's the least vibration and then make the sharpest picture. Now that I'm going to move handheld again and pretty fast, I've just turned it off so that the camera's firing a little more frequently. What a beautiful car. There's the sun again. I'm on the uh, Schneider Blue Ring LS, 55 millimeter. My favorite lens, I'm a, I'm a wide angle guy, I like a big environmental shot. So this is gonna give me a chance to capture a lot more of this overhead rail car trellis in the frame with the car, better environmental. Oh yeah, awesome. That's a wrap. I've been using the XF since it was announced. It's rock solid. There's no better camera for this. To shoot with a 100 megapixel back on it is, as a photographer, maybe even a little overwhelming. There's so much resolution, the crispness of these new blue ring lenses is really ideal for this type of product photography. It shows every detail of the car the whole way through, and uh, I couldn't figure out a better system to use for this type of work.